Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. We out here in Nashville, Tennessee, Detail World. Got my man Rennie right here. We about to knock out this G GMC Sierra right now. I got a lot of mud on it. That's the biggest thing, so trying to get all this mud up out of there. Things like that, that's gonna be a little horrendous, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna go ahead and get it knocked out. The interior probably not that bad besides the mats. He got these seat covers on them, so don't worry about that shit, Rennie. Just take these mats out. Like I said, it's a little dirty just because of the mats, and that's a good thing that a lot of people keep these mats in their car so it, it contains most of the dirt, debris, and things like that. I love that, but you still gotta worry about the seats, windows, you know, things like that. They got pets, the dog slob on the window, you know, your door is still a little ashy, you know, things of that nature. So, and that's one thing I don't know what kind of plastic these new cars are using because this material seems to get ashier more than the material they used to use before. I'm not sure what's going on with the plastic if they changing the polymers the resins or whatever but yeah like i said we just finna go ahead and knock this out it's just a basic car basic maintenance wash but like i said got a lot of mud on it so i gotta get the mud off first before anything but like i said we're gonna go ahead and knock this out it's a beautiful day it's supposed to be like uh 61 degrees 59 degrees 61 degrees something like that uh we got five more cars to do today hopefully six but I'm trying to get it knocked out as quick as possible. I appreciate y'all, man. All right, good morning, good morning. We just finished this uh, GMC Sierra AT4. Like, it had a bunch of mud on it. We got all the mud off of it. Look, it had mud all caked up in there. You know, if you see all the mud on the ground right now, so kind of thick down there. But uh, yeah, we actually finished the car right here. Uh, completely clean, in and out. Definitely gonna be happy about that. He just came out and said, he's like, man, all this mud came from my car? I'm like, yeah, man. So it was definitely muddied up. Uh, but it looks good right now, you know? Couldn't get these mats out because they stuck under here. So we just had to wipe them down as best as we can. I kinda hate that because it may not be as clean as they should be. But like I say, the car's all done. Console, cup holders, everything wiped down, windows. So, you know, we actually, like I say, just finished this GMC Sierra. This is a nice truck called an AT4. I guess that stands for all terrain. But uh, we just finished it up. We headed to the next stop, which is in Franklin. That's about a 10 minute, 15 minute uh, ride from here. So about to get on it. And uh, we definitely see you at the next stop. Like I said, we just finished that. Peace out. Good morning, good morning. I know uh, Rennie mentioned yesterday He's got a giveaway going on next week. So, Rennie, is there any way you want to explain to the people right now what that giveaway is going to be about? Uh, good morning. How y'all doing? Okay, the giveaway is you pay attention from Monday through Thursday and remember the word of the day. On Thursday, call in and you'll win a, you'll win a prize. On Friday. That, that will right, be Friday. Friday. That will so, be you Friday. say from Monday, to, they got to remember all the words from Monday to Thursday. Yep. Remember the, uh, and then on Friday, the day. they call in. We're going to put the number, or we just tell them, leave it in the comment. Uh -huh, oh, no, okay. Comment. No, not leave it in the comment because people probably, well, it don't matter who first person that do it. We can say, leave it in the comment. Yeah. I will leave my number on there, or I leave my email. Right. Or the it, whatever. The first person, I'm going to say, from the hours is going to be from 11. They start at 11 o'clock. You got to call in by 12 in order to win. Remember? All right. Lord the word of the win. day. Word of the day. He said, giving away a $25 gift card. So if you can remember the four words of the day, come Friday, first person to call in, you got from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock, and you can win that gift card. I hope everybody uh, participate, and I uh, appreciate y'all. But right now, we out here in um, Franklin, and we doing this Mitsubishi. I'm not sure what it is, because I didn't even know Mitsubishi still made cars. Uh, but this is a Mitsubishi, uh, Mitsubishi <laughs> Mirage. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> it's a mirage. <laughs> so, uh, we're about to go ahead and just do a basic on this. Right now, I'm at a company called Parks Company. I've been doing some work for them for about four or five years. So, i never done this car. I got uh, four cars here, one detail, and then we got one house call out here. It's a beautiful day. It would turn into sunshine. But, uh, like I say, Rennie already in the inside. Hey, uh, y'all, listen. I, yes, we on day 64. Yes, I keep saying Rennie on this side. I'm going to keep saying a lot of the same rhetoric, but we're going to go ahead and knock this car out. 
You know what I mean? We're gonna get it looking right. Hopefully she'll be satisfied with the work. Cause you know, satisfied is definitely one of the words I constantly use. But like I say, hit that subscribe button and hope everybody participate next week to win that 20, uh, to win that $25 gift card. All right, Detail World, we just finished this Mitsubishi Mirage. I know earlier I couldn't say the word Mitsubishi because it, it sounds funny, but uh, we just completely just finished this car. Rennie just got to finish that one little part he owned, but like I said, it was a new customer's car. She should be uh, very happy with the work. The car was a little dirty when we started on it, and uh, right now we got that real good, clean, pristine look. So, you know, the work is iconic, you know what I mean? Like, that, that right there speaks for itself, but like I said, we about just finished this uh, Mirage right here. It's a weird looking car, I swear it is, but you know. All right, good afternoon, Detail World. We're doing this Kia Sedona right here for a new customer. This is gonna be a basic, make me wash on it. Rennie, uh, <laughs> we ain't gonna even say it. <laughs> we ain't gonna even say it, but there you go. You already in the, you know, y'all fill in the blanks. We're gonna do these like rap app lives. Rennie in the side, hey. Rennie on the outside, hey. It's a little dirty. I don't know what she really expect, but we just vacuuming and vacuuming and wiping it down. We ain't not detailing anything in here. She didn't say nothing about the detail. She asked how much it costs for a basic washing back. I told her, she said that's what she wants. So we get the people what they want. I know sometimes y'all in my video. Dirty. Yeah, it was. They don't want to pay to get that extra dirt off. I'm not gonna waste my time getting the extra dirt off. You know, that's extra work. You know what I mean? So, ain't nothing in this world free. You know what I mean? Only thing that's free is air and water. And most people don't even use. The only the reason we use the free water is to wash our ass and to use the bathroom. Nobody really drink it. But uh, regards to that, like I said, we about to do this Kia Sedona. All right, we just finished this Kia Sedona. Uh, it was just a maintenance wash in it. It wasn't that bad in the inside or exterior. Um, Rennie already finished, I finished, so I just parked it over here. Uh, so she should be happy with the work. Like I said, I didn't need too much of anything. Uh, she just wanted the inside basically wiped down, vacuum, things of that nature. Uh, so like I said, we just finished this. And then we also finished this Mitsubishi. And then we about to do this BMW right here. And then after this BMW, we got a detailer car here. After we detail that car, we got one house call. It's probably about 20, 25 minutes from here. And then we done. Right now, like I said, we about to do this BMW 750i, which is right here. Uh, ain't gonna really take much long to do it. Look at this house. But uh, like I said, I appreciate y'all all the time, man, for checking out these videos, man, enjoying this content. So you got your, you know, like every car, typical debris. You know what I mean? So. You know, under the seats, on the seats, and this little, right here, the leg rest area, you know, all right there. So, you know, you can get it cracking. Like I say, even in the back, it's a little, a little dirty, not that bad, but, you know, ain't nothing the boss can't handle, but we're gonna go ahead and get it cracking. And we definitely gonna catch y'all in a minute, like I say. 750i. It's a BMW 750i. All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We just finished this BMW 750i. Uh, we only got one part to really clean and then we actually just finished the car. It's uh, nicely cleaned up, whole interior, exterior. We just did the windows wheels. Uh, I know he got a little damage on the front bumper, but yeah, that's, that's, that's painted completely gone. That's there go Rennie. But uh, like I said, we just knocked this out right here. About to, about to go ahead and get it started on the next car. We got one more car here with you if you got a detail which shouldn't take too long to do. Uh, haven't seen it. I know the gentleman said it's a white car, so hopefully it's not that bad. But uh, like I said, car. I already knocked out when we got it finished up over there on that side and it's done. Uh, today's been a beautiful day. Weather's like 59 degrees, so we've been blessed to have a beautiful day. 
Good afternoon, good afternoon. We finna do this full detail on this key. It's a rental. Uh, finna help, finna help Randy do the interior of it because it's pretty bad in there. Uh, one of my customers getting this car done for his wife for Valentine's Day. So, you know what I mean? Trying to get a car done, nice and right. So, it's her Valentine's Day gift to herself. I mean, to, from her, I mean, from him to her. So, we're gonna go ahead and get it nice and right. Definitely need a good interior cleaning. Get it done. I think we already started on the side. Uh, but like I said, we're about to go ahead and detail the interior of this Kia Sorento. All right, all right, good afternoon. We just finished this Kia Sorento. Like I said, we had to just do a basic on the outside, but we had to detail the interior. The car's completely done. It took a little bit longer because I had to get a bunch of sap off the exterior of the car. Like I said, the car's completely done. If you recall what it looked like on the carpet, it had, every, it had stuff totally everywhere. So right now, Completely done. You should be happy. Hey, if you in there, you see somebody, could you tell them to tell Bill Payne to come here? You can go through that door. Okay. But yeah, like I said, we just finished it right now. Fully detailed. Whole nine yards. You should be very happy with the car. I'm hoping he's satisfied. He said this is, like I said earlier, he said this is gonna be a present for his wife for Valentine's Day, so, you know. I'm happy about that, but uh, like I say, we just finished the car. About to head to the next stop, and I'll catch y'all in a second. Good evening, good evening. We out here doing this Mercedes-Benz GLS 450. Uh, I already finished the exterior of the car. Rini uh, doing the interior. He still got to do the other side. It's a little bit dirty in there because of the dog hair. But uh, other than that, everything seems like it's uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good, pretty, pretty standardly clean. Uh, you know, we almost done, like I said. It's definitely clean on the windows. We'll just did the windows. Uh, about the tire shine the tires. Thanks, I'm about to get in here and help Rini too, so we can go ahead and get out of here, man. But, uh, I appreciate everybody, man. Like I say, this is, uh, day 64, I believe. Something like that. But, man, we're gonna continue to go. We, I'm busy tomorrow. I'm busy Saturday. So, uh, yeah, man, we out here. Can't wait till the summer comes. This weather's been nice, so I can imagine what the summer gonna be like. But I want everybody to definitely hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, hit them likes, turn on them notifications, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace out.